Hello, Rip and Ship community. We're opening up a Murders of Carl of Manor play box for Henry. This is another one of those recorded videos that Henry wanted to try out. If you're interested in getting a recorded video of a box, go ahead and join our Discord. There's a link in the description down below. And uh, we can look into getting that done for you. Just contact me on there. My name is Lance Cawthorn, and Rip and Ship host. We are Moonshot Games, WPN Premium, LGS in Noblesville, Indiana. So, play packs of Murders at Carl of Manor. I really enjoy play packs. I know there's some people that are not too happy about them. Deadly Cover-Up starting out with a Foil Rare and Conspiracy Unraveler Mythic. But uh, anytime something changes, there are going to be some people that are upset. Uh, overall, you get more rares per pack, not per box, per pack. Uh, there are six extra packs per box. So that is a thing to note. Coveted Falcon Rare, but the price is supposed to be about the same as a play or as a uh, set pack. So pack prices should be about the same, but a box is going to cost about 20% more because it has 20% more packs in it. Persuasive Interrogators. This is the dossier frame. Some people love it. Some people hate it. It's up to you to decide. It's only center of the web. Uh, there are some, here's one, Slime Against Humanity common. There's some really fun uh, commons and uncommons in this set. I pull out Slime Against Humanity because you can play as many as you want in your deck. And generally when there's a card like that, they end up being worth at least a dollar. Assassin's Trophy rare. It's not guaranteed, but think about cards like uh, Dragon's Approach from Strixhaven uh persistent petitioners stuff like that they generally tend to be worth about a dollar or more so keep an eye for those when you're going through your packs prior to the whole clad mythic in the dossier frame i don't think i would have ever imagined to make a crocodile elk turtle let me know if you would down in the comments below but that is not a combination i ever would have come up with on my own um it's a really wild card it's a cost 11 but can cost a lot less but it's a 215 Here's a uh, list card, Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot, uh, Showcase, Anzrag's Rampage Rare, and Unyielding Gatekeeper Rare. The uh, list cards are one of the kind of downsides uh, to play boosters. You used to get them in one in four set packs. You only get them in one in eight of the play packs. World Souls Rage Rare. Um, and most of the time, you're going to get a common or uncommon. They did reduce the list from 300 cards down to, I think, like, 40 cards plus 10 special guests. 30 of those are commons and uncommons. Case of Lock Tot House rare. Um, and basically that means there are about 10 rares and mythics on the list and then another 10 special guests. You have a 1.56, I think, percent chance. Grinko's Buzz Crusher rare of getting a rare mythic list card and then another 1.56% chance of getting a special guest mythic. So they show up about one in every two boxes. But you should, in theory, case of the ransacked lab, hit one or another, although you know that's not how statistics and odds work. Sometimes you'll hit both in one box and zero in another box, but on average over a large number of boxes, Elegant Parlor Foil Rare and Kaya Spirits Justice Mythic with ill-timed explosion. So that's a three rare pack, which only happens about 4% of the time, but they are more common than uh, when non-bonus sheet set packs existed. They're only about 3% of the time. Case of the Crimson Pulse. One important thing to note is you cannot get the rare surveil lands in your main rare slot. You can only get it in the wild card slot and they show up about in one in six wild card packs. Barb Servitor rare. There's also the uh, borderless lands. Those aren't super common, but you definitely can get them in play packs. You can also get them in foil, but getting a foil borderless is even more rare. Molten Psyche, so here is a rare list card. I'm not sure what set that is off the top of my head. Uh, and Tristani, Three Whispers, Mythic, and Doppelgang, so another three rare pack. I think you're uh, beating the odds on the three rare packs. You can get four rare packs too, but those happen less than 1% of the time, which means at least one in every three boxes. There's a Foil Slime Against Humanity, very nice. An Officious Interrogation. We're also looking for an uncommon called Crime Novelist. A lot of people are really excited about that. Of course, this is still during pre-release periods, so prices have not evened out yet. niv Mystic Guild Pack. That's why you don't see pricing on any of these videos. Um, you really have to wait until release day when anybody's allowed to list on TCG Player during this pre-release period. Drag the Canal Foil Rare. We've had a ton of Foil Rares this box. Deadly Cover-Up and Undercity Sewers. There's the Crime Novelist. That's what we've been looking for in the Uncommon slot. And a Slime Against Humanity. Getting all the good commons and uncommons. 
Um, you really have to wait until everybody's allowed to list on TCG Player, and that's release day. So that's when you and I, Tesa Opulent Oligarch, individually, not as a store, can go on and list your cards for sale. That normally uh, results in a big influx of singles available and a quick race to the bottom when a set comes out. Although sometimes that turns around pretty quick. Lost in the maze. Um, you cannot get the invisible ink foils in the play packs. Those are reserved for the collector packs, but you can get special guests in here. They're really hard to pull. Uh, Rally's Vindicator Mythic and Elegant Parlor. The special guests will show up as non-foil in these play packs. And then if you wanted to get a foil special guest, you'd have to get a collector pack. And that's the only place where the foil special guests show up. 10th District Hero. But so that has a lot of interesting mechanics. Um, I haven't got to play in a pre-release, so I'm not sure exactly how it's going to play out yet. Obviously, constructed formats are going to be different than limited formats. But uh, I think it should add Audience with Tristani and Undercity Sewers Borderless. Uh, if you'll notice, that's part of an R and that's part of an N. Put these in the right order, and there's a secret message for you to find out. All 10 of the Borderless surveil lands but it'll be interesting to see how the formats end up playing out with all these new cards and strategies available blood spatter analysis underground mortuary <coughs> excuse me maybe if uh, i'm feeling super up to it i'll edit that out but probably not um but overall i just think the set has a lot of really powerful cards tulsimir midnight's light um i've seen things that have been uh, speculated on impacting several different formats, not just standard. Uh, but I really do hope standard gets going in game stores. I know we're going to make a push for it here at Moonshot. Here is a Ghost Quarters Uncommon from Dissension from the list. Ezram Agency Chief and Mythic Kallax's Volt Strider. Some people think this could have some impacts in some uh, of the older formats, which honestly it's pretty wild whenever a new rare Mythic comes in and impacts a format that lets you play pretty much any card in Magic's history. It's kind of crazy to think about. Not to the Bone List card in Steam Core Scholar with Raucous Theater. Another, I think you have a play set of Slime Against Humanities. It's uh, probably been the box where I've seen the both Slime Against Humanities, which is honestly pretty awesome. Uh, it's just a common, and it's a good one. Cryptex Rare. You also have the uh, Clue Weapons. This is an interesting thing. There are, I think, a handful of cards. I'm not sure which ones they are. This is the only one I know for sure. Where there are two different arts. This one has white curtains on it, but you can also get one that has red curtains on it and has the same collector number, which is going to drive stores like us crazy because people are going to think they're getting one copy and then they get another. But uh, there are, I think, I heard like up to 10 maybe cards with different art variants like that. Just small little things. Axbane Ferrix Rare. And uh, honestly, haven't looked into what the list of them are yet. But if that's something you like to collect, keep your eye out for them. I'm sure there's a list somewhere online that you can check out as well. Or you can try to find them on your own. Spell Snare. A lot of cards from Dissension on the list. That's pretty cool. Ooh, Leyline of the Guild Pack. That is, uh, that is one that might make an impact in a few different formats. Pretty wild card. Kind of surprised they printed that. The, I think the most interesting thing is the casting cost. You can pay four green or a combination of colors. Prof's Eidetic Memory. We're getting down to our last few packs here. If you enjoyed these videos, I uh, always appreciate it if you hit that subscribe and like button. Definitely helps the channel out. And if you want to get your own full box opening on the channel, Fugitive Codebreaker, assemble the players. You can join our Discord in the uh, description down below. And then just shoot me a message or comment in uh, one of the channels in there and I will get in touch with you. And then, last but not least, Case of the Uneaten Feast, we do have our live streams Monday and Thursday, 8.30 Eastern Time, as we open these last few packs here for Henry. I uh, would love it if you joined us there. It's a lot of fun. We normally stream for like four or five hours uh, on Monday and Thursday. Treacherous Greed and a Borderless Rockus Theater. That's cool. So you got two Borderless lands. Normally, you only get about one per box. Uh, three packs left here for Henry. Would love to hit a big Mythic in the close, maybe a Delny. That would be pretty sweet. Uh, Etrata, there's a fun mythic. Deadly Fugitive and Ezrim for a double rare pack. But uh, a lot of stuff going on with the channel. Definitely looking forward to the next year. Have a lot of cool ideas. Can't wait to try them out. Hope you all enjoy them. Starting out with a Hunted Bone Brute. Just one rare in that pack. And one more pack for Henry. Henry, once again, thank you for letting us open this up. Do hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, everybody else, 
We're going to catch you on the next video after this sharp eyed rookie ends the box. Hey, look, we can just wait a long time on this card and have a very long goodbye. How about that?